I hope everybody is taking care and being blessed today. Today's video is going to be on a dog series. You guys know I do all type of videos, cleaning videos, cooking videos, traveling videos, whatever comes to play. Today though, video is going to be about me first time boarding uh, my dog in a kennel. Um, I was so nervous to board her. Come here, booty. Come here, boo. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey. Tell him hey, little booty. Say hi. <laughs> she don't know where to look at. But um, my first time boarding her, um, I finally did it. I was nervous, really, really nervous. Um, I am actually on vacation as we speak right now. So uh, we were actually supposed to go to Florida for um, some days. But what happened was um, the weather stopped us from going. So instead of me just canceling my days and canceling her boarding reservations that was already scheduled i decided because we travel we travel so i decided you know what why not just go ahead and let her stay two days so i'm here and just in case i have to go get her if something crazy happened perfect so she um backstory she actually go to doggy daycare um so she do go to doggy daycare at this particular um boarding place uh, I looked around at different ones and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and let her go to again where I told you that she um, goes to doggy daycare They love her there But I'm still nervous. I mean you never think that like a lot of people were saying well if she do good at doggy daycare What makes you think she's not doing she they won't do good at boarding? You just never know, you know, we uh, I am a fur mommy It's just like being a mom to me. Nobody take care of your dog like you take care of your dog Just like if you was a parent um, but when I say you guys they did an excellent job. I am very, very happy that they did an excellent job because I was not sure how it was going to go. I wasn't sure if she was going to be nervous, but they said she just did great. So I looked at a bunch of different videos on YouTube. Nobody really talked about this. So I wanted to talk to you guys about 10 things um, that are very important when you are grooming your um, dog. And it's 50 million other things, but this is just 10 things that came to my mind and that I am, um, I ain't gonna say that I went through, but that I know, okay. So first, I'm, I'm, I wrote it down so I can make sure I remember everything. Go ahead and go get you some popcorn, uh, get you something to drink, uh, cause I'm about to just go down the 10 line, okay? Here we go, y'all. Make sure your dog is vaccinated. You gotta make sure that your dog is vaccinated cause most um, kennels is not gonna take, most red, I'm saying it wrong, most kennels, don't take your dog anyway unless they are vaccinated even when you groom in, if they're not vaccinated um you most definitely want to make sure they're vaccinated you can always go call your vet or uh wherever you're going to groom in and ask them what um what 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 do they what vaccinations do you have to have to be able to board your dog and then more than likely you probably could just read it on the website too so whatever they say y'all i'm telling you go ahead and get that done don't wait till two three days um, before get that done ahead of time so you don't got to worry about that and they're going to ask you to fax that stuff to them all you got to do is just screenshot the um, actual paperwork and then just send it to their fax um, send it to their email so just in case you don't have a fax machine because most people that's like a thing of the past so again your paperwork that you get from wherever you get them vaccinated from just make a screenshot of it and send it to their email because they're going to give you an email to be able to send it to um, and whatever type of vaccination, it depends on where you're taking them, okay? Um, another thing is, um, they're going to things that they let you take. With the COVID going on, a lot of people was telling me, you know, that they was able to bring their dog bed and able to do this, um, and they, um, they little blankie. No, you're not able to do that. And I don't know about in your state, but I'm just telling you guys right now, like one that I went to, and more than likely they are probably doing this with the COVID going on. You're not going to be able to bring no blankie or anything like that, but you can't bring, they said one toy, which was good anyway, because think about it. If you bring all these toys, they got to try to keep up with this toy. And when I say I put the toy inside where the food and all that stuff is i got a bag that's what you want to get you a nice little bag like a tote bag put all this stuff in there and then what i did was i got i'm gonna show you a video too what they food is i'm saying what i'm talking about now what i did was i took a hefty bag i put her name on the food and i put what time i wanted it done lunch dinner all that good stuff so you could be able to write it on the hefty bag i put all the food inside of another hefty bag and just put uh, rain for food and I put like a little paper how I wanted her to be able to eat it I gave her snacks make sure you give her snacks and don't only 
like say for instance if your dog is staying for like four days go ahead and include two extra days of food just to be on the safe side or one because i really wish i included an extra day because with me picking her up today you get to pick her up by two i forgot to put some breakfast or lunch in there and they told me that they gave her some so that was cool um but remember to do that I need some new containers and I love them. Oh my God, I love them. So this is our dog food. I'm gonna get put um, some snacks, just a little bit of snacks in there. I'm gonna give her dental, dental um, sticks also. Another thing guys is most places, if you're gonna pick them up after two, they're gonna charge you just a little charge, like a little $9 surcharge. But I looked, I actually picked her up before two, but they charged me a surcharge because I think like when I, when I first, booked it i made a mistake and somehow put i was gonna get her after um two but i didn't so make sure you check that surcharge so if you come get her at 1 30 make sure you're not getting charged extra it was only nine dollars i'm like they took good care of my pet so i don't even care about paying that extra what i also did you guys is i told you she was in she's back there she's back there asleep yeah um what i also did was i um pay extra so she can be do a uh, it's called a rump and play. That's what she do at daycare so she can be able to play with the little dogs And I'm going to include a clip too, guys a couple pictures so you get to see um, Her she playing with the dogs and stuff and I loved it that that was one good thing because they have a Facebook page So I was able to go to their Facebook page and pull up pictures So that was a good thing. Unfortunately, you can't do video. You know how some, some places you can be able to view them between 10 and 4 or something like that. Not this place. Unless I don't know. Like, I, 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 nobody told me. Now, she goes to another daycare. And that daycare let me know that she can be viewed playing between 10 and 4. But I didn't wind up taking her to that daycare because it's a little, I mean, yeah, to that one. Because I love that one, too. But it's a lot further. So I was thinking if we were out of town, we came off the airport, we're not trying to go like 40, 30 minutes to get her. But the one I put her in is right up the street. So that's what's even better. Um, it's right up the street. And I just happened to find this place when I was doing a daycare because like I said, I was I had her in two other two one, two other ones before that because I wanted to make sure, you know, that I liked it, that it was close. And when I found this this one, it was like maybe 15 minutes away from me. I was like, yeah. And it was brand new, very nice. Uh, I have not been in the inside yet, though, y'all. With the COVID, they actually don't let you go in. So, you know, the COVID just... Okay, so we said the toy, um, and I told you about the COVID. So make sure that whatever you're able to bring, ask them about the COVID. Can you bring, you know, the bag? Can you bring this? But like I said, you could not do that. So I'm thinking you probably can't do that there. You just bring them a little toy. And she let me know that they got a nice beds and, and cover. And so I, they, I don't even got to worry about that. And I can tell they did because when I got my dog back, because I'm a stickler, y'all, about my dog being clean, looking clean, looking pretty. I got her groomed a couple days before she went. And I was like, dang, I should have got her groomed after her boarding because I was thinking she was going to be like, you know, all dirty and stuff. No, my baby was still just as white. You can't even see her back there, but she <laughs> back there asleep. She inside there asleep. She looked just like the, uh, the, the little pillow stuff. So sometimes I'd be like, where are you And I look around and I'm like, oh, she inside there. But anyway, y'all, they did perfect. She wasn't dirty. And that's the only thing, guys. It was one day care that I took her to that... Um, when I picked her up, she was dirty and she didn't smell good. Like I'm, there was a good staff, but unfortunately once my dog be dirty and it just kind of, I know like people be like, well, she's just a dog, but she my dog and I don't want my dog dirty. Okay. So let's see, here go another one. Um, and don't forget to give them snacks, whatever, like, uh, again, label the little snacks. I didn't give them a pack of snacks. I labeled it. Like, I put, like, um, three little um, snacks inside of a bag for, you know, like, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, I could put one for Monday. I put three for Wednesday. And I kind of mix it up because I don't like to give my dog the same treats and snacks and stuff. Um, 
let's see what else so we already said label the food, put the little name on it, what time you want them to be able to have it. That's why you want to make sure you guys, you get the hefty Ziplocs so you could just be able to, um, and I like, not the Ziplocs, you guys, I like the hefty sliders. I could just be able to write it on there, I wrote all that stuff on there, and everything that I gave them, they gave it back to me. I threw it away, but like I said, I got a video, y'all can check out the video if you don't understand what I'm saying. And also make sure you check the, um, the drop-off times because you want to make sure uh, what's the earliest you can drop them off and what's the latest you can drop them off and like I told you guys I pay extra because I wanted her to be able to do the rump and play and play with the other dogs and, and not just be locked up in a kennel so make sure you check that out too another thing that I check too guys is um, like like I said check the different add-on services you can be able to get them groomed you can get them brushed you can get them everything most grooming play I mean boarding places you have add-ons so make sure you add on especially if it's something that they just knew about. I just didn't want her to be like, well, I'm somewhere new and I'm not used to, she used to playing, so I wanted her to continue playing. I was so nervous, y'all, so nervous. And I'll be going to California soon, and, I mean, not soon, but I wanted to experience that too, y'all, to see how it was. And now I feel comfortable leaving Rain for four days going to California, because at first I was like, so it was good that we got to see how it was on my staycation. Like I told you guys, we wasn't we were not we weren't able to go to Florida because of the weather. It was a bad storm, but I still I'm enjoying my staycation. It was my husband's birthday. Uh, we got to go to a really nice place and all that good stuff. But okay, um, and another thing. Okay, here go another one. Choose what dog suite you want because they have a bunch of different dog suites: small dog suites, little dog suites, whatever you want. And I most definitely to me. I want my dog in the inside because she's an inside dog. So make sure they're going to be in the inside. Most of them is, but just check. Um, and I didn't even know, too, guys, you can also check with your vet um, and your hospitals. They have boarding, too. So check with them also. One thing, though, guys, that I did not know um, is that I did not know that, um, and this is not for all of them, but a lot of them, say, for instance, if they close at 7, a lot of them leave. Like, they do their rounds or whatever, let the dog go potty before they leave, and they just have to hold it till the next day to open up at 8 or 7 in the morning. I didn't know that. So I was, like, real, real nervous. I was like, oh, my God. Um, they won't go back and check on my dog. She going to be in there with poop and pee. That's not always the case. And she didn't eat no poop. She she did good. They said she didn't even pee or poop in her um crate. Cause they say dogs really don't want to poop or pee in a, where they live at anyway. But I was just so nervous about that. I was like, oh my God, take my baby to go potty at night and she won't be potting at night. But everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. And I bless God for that because I was so, so nervous. So you guys, if you are thinking about um boarding your dog try it i say try it maybe about one or two days before you take your major major trip so like say for instance if you know you got a trip scheduled in march and it's december just let her stay one day see how it goes um and just go from there because i could truly say the experience was good i was so nervous and like i said i didn't really see no videos talking about this i want to make whoever out there um that's going to be boarding for the first time know that it's going to be okay do your um, do your research, do your research, check the ratings and just go from there. Cause that's what I did. Cause I had, um, a lot of people saying, Oh my God, you want to put her in the kennel? You're going to board her and just all this negativity. Then I had people saying positive things. And I thank you God for all guys, for all the positive vibes. Thank you. Cause it made me feel so much better. Cause I already felt bad boarding her anyway but i liked it i'm in a group a dog group i liked it when one of the ladies said you still gotta have a life beyond just having a puppy because i or a dog because i just feel like they just say just make it seem like you got it you got it you got it got it no it's okay it is okay to board your dog it is okay to drop your dog off sometimes and let them play at different little play spots and you will be amazed guys too i can truly say since she's been going to daycare she acts so different like she love being around dogs she'll be barking all the time like she used to bark all the time now she do bark if somebody come in the house that's just her she just go do that but i got a um a real good video that i'm gonna include to show you guys what a good way to stop them from barking but anyway guys that's it just want to sit down hopefully you learned a little bit if you did please go ahead and click that like button go ahead and leave a comment on how your first boarding went or if you bored how that goes leave us some comments below whatever i forgot 
let us know about that too. You guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, be blessed, and I will chat with you later. Bye, guys.